are back on the OG, the original retro ball. We are ah, ah, it's so bright. Ah, 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 turn it down. Ah, ah. Your mom's got three dumb things, you know what I'm saying? And we throwing up the Shador. We are one away from Chuck Noll for being tied second all time. We are so close. It has been a while since I've touched this game. I don't even remember the last time I touched this game. Because I recorded that Retro Bowl Finals episode in the old house back in the 6th. I think it's been like four months. I honestly do. I, I think it's been that long since I've been on this game. Look at his roster. All champs. You know what I'm saying? The thing about being a champion is you can call your players champs. You know what I'm saying? Champs do bear. What's good? Champ Swain, how's it going? You know what I'm saying? Super Bowl champion, you know what I mean? B Hall, three time champ. What up, three time? You know what I'm saying? Three time Hall, he's got two years left. All right, so we're gonna have him for another year. He's not going nowhere soon. All right, y'all can relax. He's toxic on purpose. We need those stat boosts. It's how you get him going, all right? When has he not been toxic in this series? Let's be honest. You know, guys, the reason I've had this long absence, honestly, is because I was scouting. Here's the thing. Y'all think I'm satisfied with this ring against the Giants. Y'all think I'm satisfied to just avenge Kendall. Y'all think Kendall is satisfied that I've only won one ring back. And I'm not satisfied either because the one thing that I haven't done as a head coach is go back to back. I'm not here to build a championship team, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here to build a dynasty. And with dynasties, you need repeats, all right? You need multiple championships in consecutive years. And that is what we're gonna do this year, all right? We're taking this next season very, very seriously. Yes, I've been enjoying my off season, you know what I'm saying, abroad here in Nihon. At the same time, me and the staff, you know what I'm saying, me and Lowry, we were at Iowa, Iowa State last week. Checking out some defensive prospects, you know what I'm saying? Me and Renee Beasley, we were at Oregon, Washington. Checking out prospects, you know what I'm saying? So let's press continue here we were a plus 107 this year on point differential and a lot of these games are on extreme so i don't want to hear it from you comments down below what a run right there man every playoff game was one possession jesus christ you guys must have had a heart attack my goodness all right let's press continue your reputation is widely acknowledged oh they want to recruit the boy let me see which teams want me man huh not every team wants me what if i just went to like jacksonville dallas wants me san francisco doesn't want me Oh, that's personal. Okay. All right. God, why am I pissed? I'm pissed now. Training facility. Why have the training facilities gone down on the offseason? Where is my maintenance? Re Did we lose the masseuses? What is happening? Team. We just won. Oh, my God. No, this game has to be trolling me, man. How did everything just go down? That's terrible, man. But here we go. This is one of the biggest parts of the offseason. All right. Free agency. I've been, you know what I mean? Negotiating with agents all offseason. Working the phones, you know what I'm saying? We got two free agents. Freddie G. Freddie Griffin wants 26 for three. God damn! 28-year-old receivers, so we're paying them 28, 29, 30. Man, those are like the wide receivers worst year. Okay, how much does Stu Bear want? 16 for two? And Jello? Ugh. All right, so we got 69 million in cap space, and if we re-sign both, that's 42 million. So we'll have about 27 million remaining for the draft. Is that enough? Does he deserve this amount of money? All right, 21 games, 1900 yards. That's a lot of yards. 96 receptions. That's about four or five receptions a game. 18 touchdowns, two fumbles. Will he regress though? That's the thing. 26 mil. Is he? Is that the highest paid? That's highest pay besides the QB, guys. And Jello, what have you done for me? 21 games, 141 tackles. You just you just been tackling. Seven tackles a game as a DB. Only one interception. It's kind of ass. But you're a good pairing with Deron Ham, though. I don't know how Deron Ham will feel if you're making more money than him. You know what I'm saying? Deron only making nine mil. He's one of the best DBs in the game. Oh no, I think I'm a. Mm, I think I'm gonna let him walk. Freddie Griffin's worth a round one pick, so we could we could work a sign and trade. Hello, Rich. Rich Paul? All right, uh, listen, uh, I know you're representing Freddie. Uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna work a sign and trade, all right? Uh, we don't believe that he has the ability to keep up this play over the course of the next three years, especially as the highest paid receiver in the NFL. He wants 26 goddamn million dollars. I love Freddie G though, man. I love Freddie G. All right, we're gonna sign him. All right, welcome back, Freddie G. Big signing, let's, let's give a round of applause. Thank you very much, the GM. Thank you. And we're gonna let Champ Angelo walk. All right, Stu Bear, we appreciate all your efforts, man. Shout out to all your tackles, but nobody really knew you. All right, you, you were kind of just quiet. One interception in 21 games. Like, come on, all right? C come on, I, I, y you gotta go, all right? There you go. We agreed a $26 million deal with 28-year-old wide receiver. God damn, that's old. Oh, my God. Oh, 
my god. Oh man. The Ravens want Freddie G for a first round pick. So we're gonna have to see Freddie G two times a year in the division. Oh my god, they wanna give Lamar weapons. I don't know if I can trade him now. Hold on, let me call Rich back. Hey, Rich. Oh, man. I don't know, guys. What do I do here? Man, oh, man. All right, you know what? Let's head into the draft. All right, play the draft music. Here we go, Goodell. Walk the stage. All right, let's take a look at if it's a wide receiver heavy draft or not. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, you guys must know that we don't scout players here on the draft. All right, we did all our scouting in the offseason. It's too easy to draft like that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta take shots. You got you can't know if a player is gonna be good or not. That's not how the draft in real life works, all right? So cue the draft music. And let's head into the draft. Oh my god, all offense. Oh, it's wide receiver heavy. Oh my god, four wide receivers in the top row. Okay, so the projected first overall pick is Banjo. Sky Banjo. All right, okay, we got a decision to make. So we can either keep Freddie G, who's a four-star receiver, great speed, great player. He's our kick returner as well. Or we could trade him, save some cap space for more players on the team, and pick up one of these receivers, man. Francis Doyle. No strength, man. He's scrawny. Who's next? Trinity Walter. Looking very mid. Mid catching, mid strength, mid stamina. So he's a speedster. All right. I, I can't have a pure speedster. You know what I've really been missing, man? Is somebody who's like a pure route runner. You know what I mean? I need a pure route runner. All right. Stefan, Cornell Stefan. Now, this guy's a speedster, speedster. Definitely better than Trinity Walker. So. We're already not going to take this guy. Walter, yeah, you're ass. He's a bust. Cornell Stefan is the better player. And then we have Ade. Mario. Whoa. A white receiver. Have I had a white receiver before? Has a white receiver even gone in the first round? Wait a minute. See, his draft comp. He's like he's like a Cooper Cup. You know what I'm saying? He, he's a, he work at the slot. He's like pure. Can definitely work on his hands. All right, good speed, but look at the stamina, guys. See, white people love to work the treadmill. You know what I mean? Endurance gods. He runs marathons. Mario, you know, he's got Italian roots. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 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 him and Lorenzo are boys. Oh, they were in the same academy in Italy? Oh, okay, okay. Lorenzo can get him accustomed to the culture here at the Bengals. I've never had a white receiver before, man. Out of New York. Mario from New York, originally from Italy. Dad's a mafia boss. And we need some more space for more players on this team. We still need to pick a DB as well. Benogu. All right. Freddy. Freddy G. It was nice knowing you, buddy. This is a tough decision, man. This is the toughest part about being GM. Uh, it's the toughest part of the game, man. It's letting guys go, man. Champ G, thank you for your services, man. I love you, brother. I love you. One of those great wide receivers next to B Hall, man. Freddy G. Trust Tom, Taj Zeitler, you know what I'm saying? Freddie G, he's definitely worked his way in those conversations. <sighs> he's getting old, man. Age, man. The only man that doesn't affect is B-Hall and LeBron, you know what I mean? We're training him to Baltimore. All right, Freddie G is off to Baltimore. We're going to see him two times a year. Him versus Deron Ham. That is going to be a legendary matchup twice a year. That's must-see TV. Get your popcorn. Good luck, man, with the first overall pick in the Retro Bowl Draft. The Cincinnati Bengals select Mario. Mario, I did. Welcome to the team right here. White wide receiver. He's from New York. His dad used to be a mafia boss. All right, he used to run Chinatown down there. And his son became one of the best receivers in the nation. All right, Mario Ade, welcome to the Bengals. Our new man, thanks to B-Hall, never had a white wide receiver in my life. I'm excited to see how he plays. My scouts told me he looked like Cooper Cup. All right, here we go. Here's the reveal. How much potential does he have? Five! Oh, I told you I'm a Five star potential. I'm telling you guys, this guy could be a star. Look, look, look at, look at the stamina. Look at the stamina. I told you guys, man, with slot receivers, like you really just gotta work on their hands because they have everything else. Polish man, he played four years. Four year redshirt senior. Mario Ade, what a pick right there, man. I'm excited to see this kid play next to Bihal. Oh my god, he's about to get so many one on ones, man. I'm excited. Mario Ade, welcome to the team. Great pick, man. Can we talk about the scouting? Shout out the scouting department, man. Oh wait, who's the scouting department? Me. I'm the scouting department. Shout out to myself. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. And now we got another first round pick. This is our original first round pick. You know what I mean? That first round pick that was traded for Freddie Griffin. That was the Ravens pick. All right, we definitely need a DB. Yerick Mano. All right, no stamina. Yeah, he's a safety. I don't know how I feel about his name being Gerig. Gerig. Gerig? Manogu. He's got good stats. He's got great tackling. He could be another tackle merchant. Good speed, good range. He's a three star. I don't think we have another option here, guys. And another thought that I had was maybe taking a running back. Oh, come. 
Dak or Marquez Decker as well because I mean this guy I know he's champ but he didn't really do anything he just sucks let's be honest man it's gonna take him five years to grow too I don't even want to say his name man he's just embarrassing I might take a running back or we could take another tight end pair him up with Bosa Sky Banjo he's still on the board He's falling, you know what I'm saying? He's falling down, you know what I mean? Oh, this tight end is convincing too. Banjo, Sky Banjo. Banjo and Bosa. Two tight end set. All right, you know what? With our second first round pick, the last pick of the first round, the Cincinnati Bengals are proud to select Sky Banjo, tight end. All right, you guys know I love my tight end. Two tight end set right here next to Bosa. I love the potential, the two towers up top. Bosa and Banjo right here, man. Oh, only four star potential. He's got room for improvement in strength and catching. You know what I'm saying? Could play lights out next to Bosa. We didn't address team need. We took best player available at that spot. You know what I'm saying? And that was Sky Banjo. You know what I mean? He, he had, we had him number one in our big board. So we'll take it. All right, Sky Banjo, Banjo X Bosa at the tight end spot. I love it. Round two, here we go. Where did Bonogu go? Nah, 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 nah. Where the hell is Bonogu? Where did he go? Oh my god, he got picked. He got picked. Benny Diossi, that's the best player. Should we take a backup QB, Benny? I mean, I guess. We could take Chaz Gordon, D-tackle, Chaz. Who else we got? Poe, Tyson Poe, linebacker, Lavette. These guys don't really stand out to me. Lance, Lake and Lance, definitely not taking no more Lance. That, 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 that's not happening. We're not, we're not doing that. Could take another tackle as well. Darius Stinney right here, beef up the old line. All right, you know what? With our second round pick and our last pick in the draft, we are going to take Benny Diossi. QB. Now, I know what y'all are thinking. All right, why the hell do you need a QB? You got a franchise quarterback here in Darren Moffat. He's our franchise. All right, he's probably the best quarterback I think I've ever used in this series. But we need some injury insurance. He's best player available, clearly. And we have the cap space to afford him. All right, not a lot of teams can afford two quarterbacks, let alone a second round pick QB behind a franchise guy. You know what I'm saying? So, Benny Diossi, I like his film too. His film looked very, very good. All right, so we have some injury insurance. We gotta keep pushing Mafe as well. You know what I mean? Mafe wasn't born motivated. He's gotta be motivated. That was a bar. Oh my god. So I took a QB to kind of, you know, light a fire in his ass. You know what I mean? We gotta go back to back. He improves our team the most there. And you know what? We're gonna trade the rest of our picks. We are full on roster spots. And now we have some flexibility with 21 CC. We can make some moves if we need another defensive back. You know what I'm saying? Let's take a look at free agency right here. Yeah, Huggins is right there. Oh my god, that hairline. Desmond Huggins. He's a corner for shelf. You know what I'm saying? He's a doll. So if we need defensive help, you know what I mean? We could definitely make some moves, but there you guys go this is the roster to start the year i'm excited for this offense man oh my god mafe to banjo ex bosa first round receiver mario a day the man from new york next to v hall and we got diossi as well as our backup qb in case anything goes wrong let me know what you thought about the draft in the comments down below in the next episode we start our quest to go back to back at Denver, mile high. Oh my God, the altitude, I can already feel it. When do we play Baltimore this year? I wanna know. When do, when do we get Baltimore? Week 13? Oh my God. And week 18 against Freddie G and the dogs up in Baltimore in the bank. Freddie G is coming back week 18. We play San Francisco this year. Oh, the schedule makers, man. They know what they were doing for that week 17, week 18. Oh my God. Okay, okay, all right. This is gonna be an exciting year, man. And yeah, keep commenting. We'll do a comment on the day next video, all right? Then do one this one. We'll do it next video. I promise, all right? I'll see you guys for the season debut of Mario a day. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you are new, I will be giving away a million dollars to every person who clicks the subscribe button. So um, if you subscribe, you're pretty much Jeff Bezos.